that I tried, I knew that at 31 that it wasn't pizzicato, but I also knew that there was pizzicato coming, so my fingers took over and I tried to play pizzicato, but it was not pizzicato. Um, the biggest thing in this piece are the dynamics. Um, you don't think about this recording as being like how you would want to play it at a concert. Um, you wanna bring every dynamic to light if that means you've gotta scribble all over your page or that you need to you know, figure out how to edit uh, you know, open paint and open the document and paint and you can write on it and then save it. Um, you've got to figure out how to mark these things in. The sudden dynamic changes are the hardest ones to remember to do. Um, that, oh, for example, at 41, nope, 47, it's suddenly mezzo piano. Um, you got to remember to change there from mezzo forte. And then the more difficult one is at 72. We go from fortissimo to mezzo piano with no decrescendo, nothing to change it. It just all of a sudden is soft. Um, and then the crescendos and the decrescendos are majorly important in this piece. Um, I get a little too into the one between 64 and 70. I want to crescendo too fast there. Um, hold it back a little bit longer, save the big part of the crescendo for the last like two measures. So maybe 68 and 69, you can really let loose. Um, and then the other thing that is most important for you guys is making sure that you're playing the correct notes, um, especially like sharp or natural. So on the A string, make sure you're using two fingers. Unless it says C sharp like at 29 and 30, it should be two fingers. On the D string, two fingers. Um, there's, I think I can see two F sharps in the whole piece and those are 50, nope, 32 and 34. Mm -hmm the only place that I'm seeing F sharps in a quick glance. Um, otherwise, you should be playing two fingers. On G, it should be three fingers so that you're playing B naturals. I don't think there are any B flats. I could be wrong. Um, the only time that you're gonna use two on G is at 31 when you have to be extended so that you're playing C sharp. 
and not playing C natural here. So make sure you're doing that extension. Um, don't just settle for, eh, you know, it was, it was kind of the right note, you know, playing three fingers here, it's the wrong note. You've got to make sure you're playing the right one. Makes me very happy when I see them on the feeder. It's like right there out the window. Um, so dynamics, crescendos, decrescendos, and then should it be two, should it be three? Make sure that you're checking for those. And if you're not sure uh, and you can't tell from the video, ask me, send me a message. All right.